hijab slash hijab story. I didn't really wear hijab actually before I started to wear niqab. It was like um, more like a Christian head covering and I did barely wear it. I like, yeah, I did like never wear it. But I'm going to tell you my story, even the hijab story, because I think it's like play a role, play a role into all of this. Anyway, um, if you watch my um, revert story to Islam, I have um, I told you about like I think I told you there that I started to wear niqab before I converted. It was actually. Yeah, I told you that. I told I started to wear niqab before I converted. I started wearing niqab before I even thought Islam was a good idea or something like that. Um, but watch my um, revert story to kind of um, understand this one. I don't know. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to start when because I in around May the beginning of June I told my mum that I wanted to stop covering my hair because you know I didn't I wasn't Christian, I wasn't Muslim, I wasn't Jew. I just wanted to do things that um I thought was like that thought that I thought God wanted me to do. Um okay, I'm going to <laughs> sorry. Um, I don't, my editing department doesn't work, so I'm sorry for that. Um, anyway, um, uh, where were, where were her I? Yeah, I told my mom that I started to wear, I wanted to wear covering my hair a little bit, kind of. Um, I wrote a super long, um, text message. I remember, like, a month before, like, two months. I wrote a letter, um, I wrote many letters, I didn't know what to say, I wanted it to come out good and stuff, so I, um, uh, yeah, and I wrote, like, a document and stuff, and then, like, um, just, um, copied it in my text message to send to my mom. she took it very well, she was like, oh, I'm so happy for you, and that stuff, she took it very well. Um, I don't know how, how my dad got to find out that I wanted to cover in my hair. I actually don't know how he found out. My mom didn't tell him. Um, I'm sorry for my accent is changing. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, but it's a... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. My... I don't know how, how my dad found out, actually. I kind of... I think I kind of hinted to him, half told him, I don't know actually, but he took it really, really bad. He was like, oh, my son is destroyed, like, oh, this is my life, oh, why are you doing this to me? I'm so dead. Like, he took it so bad. He was like, why are you gonna wear that? Oh, I'm gonna la la la. He was so angry about it. And I, I can't, now I can't still understand why he was. like. Please, why are you? So he took it so bad. I got, I got actually a panic attack because he took it so bad, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, what should I do? I shouldn't have told anyone. I was so bad. Like, um, so his reaction was really, really bad. Um, then, um, so I, I kind of never did wear it, um, but I half like just had it around my neck and sometimes I put it over my head also it was, it was really like it was I had it like here on my end of my head and it's always kept falling off because it was like so loose um uh anyway and in I like never wear, wore it and then I come into like because at that time I thought Niqab was extreme. I was like, we should ban it. We should just this is just a bad idea. We should not have it. Like it's just security risk and stuff. I'll probably make a video in the future, inshallah, about why it's a stupid idea. One, uh, to ban the niqab.
but anyway, today we are not going to talk about that. Um, and th that time I thought it was extremely good stuff, but then I come across more videos about niqab and I was like, oh, this is so beautiful. And I come across like a uh, online store who s sell niqabs. Um, and I like looked at it and I was like, oh, if I was going to wear niqab one day, which I'm not, <laughs> um, I will wear this, 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 and that, that, that. I was like, I was looking to um, abayas too. Like, oh, if I was, if I were a Muslim, I would wear this, this, this. Like, and I put it into the card and I was like, oh, we got so much. So I was like interested in it and my interest interest, interest for a club just kind of grow. And um yeah, and I had I had my headscarves because I ordered some some of them. My mom actually helped me order them because my dad was he was like, no no no. <laughs> he, he did not want me to buy them. I actually thought I'd tell you this, but you know. Um, cause I, yeah, I think I remember how I, he kind of found out. I linked him, um, to, I asked him before, like, uh, dad, can I order some stuff online? He was like, yeah, sure, sure. Cause I don't have, um, uh, not credit card, you know, this card, your money. I can't order from online. I just have, I don't have like a card. I only have, um, money in real life. I don't really know how to say it in English actually. But you know, so I can't order stuff online. Um, so I always need a parent to help me, and I was living with my dad at that time. Um, now I live with my mom. Uh, but I linked him to, I and I asked him before, like, can you order it, whatever it is? And he was like, yeah, sure. Where are you? I was like, promise me. And he was like, yeah. What's your problem? And then I linked, and he was like, no, no, no. He was so angry. Um, yeah, and then I, my mom ordered it for me instead. <laughs> I'm so happy for that. But anyway, my um, head covering, my head scarves, I, you know, tried to pin it and like do a kind of niqab style and I went around like that. And I, I love it. I was like, oh, this is so wonderful. I did not go out with that. I was like just at home. Um, but then, like, my interest grew for it. And I remember I wrote in my diary, I was like, oh, I want to wear this. And then my tactic was like, um, okay, so I actually sue one myself, and um, it was a really bad one. And the next day I saw a better one, and I was, I was said to my mom like, can, oh, I will try to go out with it just to know how it feels like, because my my kind of plan was to go out with it, because I know kind of already then that. I wanted to wear it, but I wanted to try and see how it was too, and then go home to my, go home to my mom and say like, "Oh my God, this is the best thing ever! I wish I could wear it." And she was like, "Yeah, why not?" And I was like, "Oh my God, can I?" <laughs> it was kind of my plan, and it worked. Um, but anyway, when uh, my first experience with going out with niqab, it was the best feeling ever. I have never ever in my whole life felt so free. It's sick. Um, and people say, oh, it's so oppressing and all this stuff. But when I went out, I felt so extremely free. I didn't need to think about, oh, how I looked, my makeup, uh, my nose is too big or my arms is too big or my I didn't need to think about that. I felt so free and like nobody knows who I am. If I go out like this and I, if I go into a room and I kind of embarrass myself and I go into a room like 20 minutes later without me in a club, no one would know it was me. And that kind of felt like a safe card for me. I don't know because I'm, because of my social anxiety, that was kind of why I started to wear it because my social anxiety, um, I don't know, I had a problem with talking to people and I didn't want to show myself. I really love self-esteem. Now it's much better, alhamdulillah. Um, but you know, and I felt like, like, you know, even when I'm talking to people or being nice to someone, like, oh, say thank you when you go out to the store, like, have a good day or, you know, when the car comes. I don't know if you do this in other countries, but when a car stops to let you go over the road, you lift your hand like this. 
uh, here in Sweden. I don't know if you're doing that in other countries. Um, and I couldn't do that because it felt like adversary. But when I wear this, I was like, I can be nice. And if people like, oh, you're why are you doing that? You're so stupid, people. And I went into a room and no one knows with me. So I haven't basically em embarrassed myself. So that was like, um, it felt, I don't know, it helped me really, really much. And I felt that I could be myself. Because every time I went out, I needed to kind of play a role. I needed to kind of, I'm um, this tough chick going uh, out and, um, or like I needed to kind of be somewhere I wasn't because of how I looked. I didn't know how I was, who I was. Um, like, but when I put this on, I was like, I just wear myself. I didn't, I felt like, I felt so much more confident, I felt so free, and um, I loved it, it was the best feeling ever. Um, now the first time I went out with it, people were staring so much, I don't know, even when I went into the store, because I was just smiling, I was like, people are so angry, I don't know what, like, I was just smiling because I thought it was so fun. No, I wasn't like, my, their reaction was like, <laughs> I was just smiling all the time. And uh, when I went to the store, everyone was like, what are you doing? Who is that? Like, because I live in an area where there are no immigrants, no Muslims, no nothing. Not even a hijabi here. Oh my God, I don't know how it's, <laughs> I'm sorry, my pronunciation on this stuff. It will be kind of weird. Anyway, hijabi. Um, it was um, not even hijabis there. The only people who was not white, kind of, was the people who had the kind of pizzeria. So people were so unused, um, not so. People were not used to see someone with um, who was not like the others. If you understand, kind of, or I don't know. Anyway, people was like, oh my god, because even the cashiers, like the people who worked in the store, they were like, they have never seen one like before. Um, so it kind of was kind of a shock for them. And I remember when I was like walking there, a woman she like looked back and she was kind of half running, kind of out of the store. Um, I was like, she was not like running out of the store, but she was like going really really fast like trying to get away from me kind of uh, that was quite fun um and what, how i experience my niqab now um people are still staring at me here um but kind of it was not it's not that a big reaction now because um people don't really um People are kind of half used to it, not really used to it, but they're like, oh, there's nothing new, we have seen it before. Um, but I have experienced, as it, like, the bad kind of experience, it, it haven't been so much actually, it's like people, I don't know what it's called in English, I think it's honk, you know, when the uh, car is like, duh, duh, like, at another car, you understand what I mean? I don't know what it's called, but I think it's honk, Google Translate says it's honk. <laughs> honking or anything like that anyway and it, it is kind of a long road and it not a lot was kind of yeah it's kind of a long road road and um kind of a road next to it where people go and where the car drives sideway yeah it's called sideway um anyway um when I walk in there, it was no car, it was no one else than me in that car, and there was, and they were honking at me, and I were like, because, and obviously, maybe they just, like, um, by mistake, um, did it, I don't know, and, but I think they were, because I wear this, uh, my niqab, and when I was kind of, on the way into the store kind of the way um the road into the store i don't really know anyway and there was a car doing that too um 
I think it was the same car actually. I don't know. And people kind of stared kind of aggressively like seeing re looking really mad and like ugh. and people just turning their turning their heads and like um someone is mumbling something. The only actual comment I have uh, gotten Oh my god, I can't stand my accent and it's just changing. I'm sorry. Um, my I just want, got one comment actually and it was like, I think ghost. Um, I was on my way to school and an old man, of course, he was like, oh my god. And he was like, a oh, fucking ghost. And I was like, you serious? Um, uh, and first time when I went out, um, with my new club into kind of the city when we have the subway um, the second I uh, went into the subway and sat down to a seat the man in front of me um, went out the second I sat down he just went up and went out um, uh, he was maybe he didn't want people to sit with him I don't know it could be that, but it could also be because I wear a mini club. I don't know. Um, yeah, this is kind of my bad experience with mini club. This is kind of my yeah. This is kind of my story. This is like my bad experience and stuff. I had a uh, good experience too. Like people saying, uh, they're like reacting good. They're like smiling to me towards me. Um, and when I were in. Um, I were in another neighborhood, kind of, in Stockholm. Um, a man, he was working there, I think he's also Muslim, because I don't think he would say that otherwise. Um, he was like, oh, mashallah, have you converted? Are you Swedish? Like, convert? And I was like, yeah, yeah. And when, actually the same day when I was, because I was with a friend, um, at the cinema and when we sat down to eat a woman next to us she was like oh you're really brave to wear that in this day and age like here in Sweden people want to ban it and stuff and I was like yeah I'm not gonna and she was like oh um get any bad experience like that and I was like no not really people are mostly staring Swedish are really passive aggressive um and they are <laughs> Um, yeah, that's kind of my experience with new club and stuff. I'm sorry for this getting a long video, but my editing program have stopped working. I don't know, I don't want to work with the video of my, um, with my phone. So you kind of just need to handle it, that it is a long video. Um, I just want to say excuse me once one more time because of my accent changing all the time um, I don't really know why it's because I don't really have an accent if I'm going to show my real accent I don't my real accent is more like this my real accent is more like this it sounds really really bad and I don't want to sound like this <laughs> so I'm going to more like <laughs> 